SMM uh, 2000, 2016 yeah. will be the largest SMM ever. We do the show since the early 50s. This year we are expecting 2,100 exhibitors from more than 60 countries. That is quite an increase to 2014. And uh, I'm expecting roughly 50,000 visitors, trade visitors from all over the world. that the uh, European shipyards have today is that they are really in quite specialised businesses and uh, uh, if you take the cruise as perhaps the best example of all, this is not a business that people can easily walk into and it's a business where the customers are very fussy about who builds their ships and whether they can actually perform. So I, I would say um, that that is the main advantage that the, that the European yards, both at the big end and the small end, have got is that they, they are, are in these niche markets. The challenge, of course, is that uh, uh, the uh, Asian yards have got a problem that their sort of core businesses have closed down. The bulkers, tankers, container ships, they're just not ordering at the moment. And so they're almost forced to try and look in these specialist areas. And um, the European yards have a good chance. And if they um, you know, focus hard on uh, looking after their customers and making sure that they are offering the product which is differentiated, which really leverages off their depth of experience. I think there's a very good chance that they will get the deal, but I think they can expect a fair bit of financial pressure, frankly. European countries will uh, make about 30% uh, of the exhibitors. We are this year dedicating one extra hall for the uh, topic of green shipping or green propulsion, where a lot of innovative solutions will be presented. And uh, I think not only for the ship owners uh, and the ship builders, it's a, good, it's, it's a good issue. I think the public pressure and the political pressure on the shipbuilding and the shipping industry will be even higher in the future so that the industry has to dedicate uh, the topic uh, within an exhibition like SMM. The idea was with the LNG hybrid barge in order to serve the cruise ships while they are in port in order to reduce the emissions and also to be, uh, get the, the ports and the emissions and, and air in the cities cleaner. For the time being, only AIDA Sol is using this uh, barge here in Hamburg. Um, there are discussions for the, the use of other uh, cruise ships and operators too. And uh, at present, uh, the, the last year we served the AIDA Sol 12 times and this year it will be in totally uh, t 20 times in total for this year. The LNG is taken from Seebrugge or either Rotterdam. These are the both sources we are having here in Europe. All the others are <coughs> not uh, finished so far in Northern Europe. And uh, this is one of the obstacles and we hope and that this will change in the next two years um, towards here that we are also having a fueling station here in Hamburg. Try to always, when we are organizing the SMM, to be ahead of the current state of technology. So what you see at SMM is new technology for the very first time. Other exhibitions also show these technology, but that is not latest then. So it's uh, always, we're always ahead. And that is what we have uh, proved to the industry, to the exhibitors and to the visitors. And uh, so they come to, to Hamburg. And Hamburg, of course, itself is a very international uh, shipping and shipbuilding town. So together with this tradition and our aim to, to keep ahead of of uh, technology of the industry that makes us so successful and that's why all these international people and the national people come here to Hamburg. Okay.